Hey everyone, before we can get into the video, I just want to give a quick thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. I've actually partnered with Book of the Month to host a giveaway so that two of you can get a six month membership to Book of the Month. So if you want to find out more details about that, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to a daily bookish vlog. I last week didn't feel like doing a weekly vlog and I wanted to do a really fun, just like compact day long vlog. Not really 24 hours of reading or anything like that, just like a good time. I woke up though incredibly late today. This was my first day off from work and I'm always so tired on the day after. So I slept in a lot gonna tell myself not to feel guilty about it because that probably means that my body needed it and I do feel a lot better. Now the issue is that um, we have to do this daily vlog really really quickly. First thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Over to Future Brittany to talk more about that. Again, thank you to Book of the Month. This one is a little bit different though because I am actually doing a giveaway for two of you guys. I've partnered up with Book of the Month quite a few times. You guys know I really, really love the service. Just to give you an idea of what they're about, they are a incredibly popular and fast growing online book service made for readers and made for people that might want to get into reading. And they have an amazing mission to introduce readers to new and emerging authors. And they do this actually by going going through hundreds of books every single month to curate a special list for their subscribers and they pick out five books and all of these books are either new or early releases for the month and then as a subscriber you again get to pick one of the books every single month and get it delivered to your door in one of these fancy blue boxes or if you decide that that month is just not for you not floating your boat or maybe it's not something that you want to pay for that month you can always skip it and still have the exact same benefits next month with no penalties but now for the actual giveaway part this has to do with their gift card service because obviously now that the holiday season is coming around a lot of us are trying to find gifts and also if you're like me you never know what you want so you're trying to find gifts to tell other people that you want and book the month has an amazing option for that they have the option of either being able to gift a three six or twelve month subscription the three month subscription is going to be $49.99 the six month subscription is $89.99 and then the 12 month subscription is going to be $169.99 
but out of all those options you are getting one new slash early release adult fiction hardcover which tend to run pretty expensive so no matter what you can be sure that you are getting the best deal for whatever book you end up getting for that month. They have a few ways of being able to gift these kinds of subscriptions the first of which being an email in which you choose the date and then they'll email the subscription the second of which being you can print it at home and the third of which being they can actually send you the physical gift card subscription to your doorstep and then you yourself gift it to whoever you're gifting it to. This is an amazing option for right now because a lot of us are going to have some trouble seeing our families during the holidays or our friends during the holidays so this is definitely a social distance friendly gift and it's also a very customizable gift because even though you're picking the place that they're shopping at, they get to pick their own books every single month, which is really nice. And they do actually have the same benefits as a regular subscriber, or you will have the same benefits as a regular subscriber. So again, I do actually have two gift cards of six month subscriptions to give to two of you guys. So if you guys actually want to enter this giveaway, I will actually have the link for a Google form down below in which you will just fill out a couple of questions, such as like your name, how you want to be contacted and things like that. And you will have been entered in the giveaway and then I'll do a randomized pick on the 30th of November which is when this giveaway ends and uh, I will reach out to the winners. Also I thought it would be kind of nice so if you guys do actually want like a little note or something I'll have an option for that in the form but I thought it would be cool too. I mean obviously I don't have to do that like you might be gifting this to someone else but let me know if you want that. So yeah thank you so much to Book the Month for sponsoring my video in this way. I think this is such a unique and fun thing that's like a benefit to everyone and if you guys still are interested in book of the month even if you don't win the giveaway or even besides entering the giveaway I will also leave a link down below to book of the month's website for you to potentially gift out a subscription yourself or to look into it more yourself. One more thing unfortunately this giveaway is for US residents only so yeah. Okay. So right now I just was getting ready. We're going to go to Barnes and Noble and hang out just for a little bit. And when we get back, we can do more reading and I'll let you know what my reading plans are. I did already start listening to The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis and I'm really liking it. So I'll give you more on that a little bit later though, because we have to get going. So grab my mask. Yes, this one. And then that's that. <laughs> So I really had a limited amount of time when I headed into Barnes & Noble because they were closing in 30 minutes, so this was all kind of rushed, but still fun. I headed straight for the graphic novel section first and just kind of looked through to see if anything piqued my fancy. This is when I came across a Junji Ito book that looked very, very interesting. And then onto fantasy. I just love looking at different editions of fantasy books I love. So I looked at the Barnes & Noble version of The Witcher, which is just stunning. <laughs> I looked at Addie LaRue. And then I'd never seen this red version of The Near Witch, but I don't think they have it in hardcover, but I was still really intrigued. Obviously there's more fantasy, City of Brass. And then I came across this book, The Once in Future Witches, which just looked so interesting to me. And the tagline, which was, I am terrified and I am terrible, I am fearful and I am something to be feared, really intrigued me. And then on to sci-fi. Huge section for Dune. Had to set down my books. <laughs> At this point, Adam came over to try and show me this D&D &D cookbook that he'd found, which was really funny, but he didn't want to be in the shot. <laughs> Thank you. 
and of course I was immediately drawn to this really stunning version of Dune. I haven't read it, but I was really interested in this copy until I found out it was $40. Swiftly put that back on the shelf and, you know, organized for them. So this is when I noticed that Mira Grant, which is Sean of Naguire's pen name, had written another kind of creepy book called Parasite, and I'm sure it's been out for a while, but I hadn't seen it, so definitely have to look into that. This whole wall of sci-fi just looked beautiful. And the young adult section, which I didn't get to spend almost any time in, unfortunately. And then I had Adam discreetly follow me while I went to go check out since it was five minutes till closing. Got distracted, told myself no, they're closing. <laughs> Hope you like this narration, guys. Thought about getting a notebook, told myself no. Immediately ran over to the soft and fluffy blankets. And here I try to convince Adam to get that one, but we didn't end up getting it. <laughs> and I just got this book. By Junji Ito, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. I bet you thought the book shopping was done, but no, no, no. We ended up going to Target. I really like their kind of like mystery or adult area that they had. And then I noticed the imaginary friend copy, which I hadn't heard of in a while, but was really, really interested in. Why does Target always do this to me? <laughs> oh yeah, turn on the light so they can see the damage. Capri Sun, Milano's, Juice and Books. Adam got a vinyl, which I paid for. <sighs> you know, shopping, shopping. To be fair, I only had like 30 or so minutes in Barnes and Noble, so I didn't get to go too crazy, which is for the best because I thought, I originally went there with the idea that like, oh, I'm gonna use my gift card that I have for Barnes and Noble that my boyfriend's family gave me and then I realized I forgot it at home. So I ended up buying myself just one book and that's actually Venus in the Blind Spot by Junji Ito. I believe that this is his newest book. I, I don't know, I recently saw this pop up but I hadn't really seen it before then and I just thought that the cover was so freaking cool looking. It's just very pretty. Actually, let's look at it naked. What does it look like naked? Oh, oh shoot. I like that even better. Wow. Um, yeah, either way, I'm just really excited to pick this up. Maybe not right now. I actually, I have a couple of boxes that I wanted to open up with you guys because I did get a few things from Amazon and some of them have been coming in the mail and ready to be unboxed so I figured why not but first let's talk about the books that I got in Target every time I go to Target first of all I had no plans to go to Target this time so that was that was the bigger issue because there wasn't a set list in my mind I was just there to have fun and I had fun so I ended up getting two books because they were having a media sale that was buy two get one free and Adam wanted to buy the Blink-182 vinyl, which was like a special edition vinyl. And I was like, well, we need two other things, so why not? <laughs> why not make it two books? And I got, oh, that's another thing I got. But I got My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I've been hearing a few things about this. I believe that it's like a thrillery kind of book. Maybe not thrillery, just dark. I think it's just dark between like a student and a teacher relationship. And I also got Imaginary Friend by Steven Shabosky. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. I was kind of like on and off about actually buying it because I know that it got super mixed reviews and a lot of people just ended up not loving it when they got the arc. But I'm still willing to try it. Steven Shabosky, I mean, I loved Perks of Being a Wallflower, so I was like, well, 
if not now then when kind of situation. I don't know. Actually, let's just show you a couple of the other things. I only brought in two of the bags. I got gummy bears. Love that. <sighs> a t-shirt. Don't ask me why. I saw the Levi section and I'm like, wait, those t-shirts are kind of cool, right? And I asked Adam and he's like, I mean, I guess. They kind of look like bandies. I'm like, that's kind of it. That's what that's what it's reminding me of. So I got a t-shirt. Impulse buy. Impulse buy. And then I'll just show you these two because they're all that's like not foodish. I got a mug that says dog person. There was another one that had, that said cat person, but I decided against it because my battery. It died, unsurprisingly. <laughs> but anyways, I got this mug that says dog person on it. I already talked about that. And they had a cat person one that looked exactly like this. And honestly, I might still go back for it because it's like $5. And I can't find any of my mugs. I'm half convinced that my cats are hiding them because I'm pretty sure my roommates don't use my mugs, but they're just going missing. I don't know. I'm probably hiding them myself. So I got more mugs and I got this one instead of the other cat one that said Meowy Christmas. It's just, it's just so cute. <laughs> oh, it's on both sides. That's good. That's good. I don't know. I just really liked it. So that's kind of it. And now I guess let's do like a mini unboxing. Actually, I just looked down. Oh my gosh, this is like a full on haul. This is like a random haul. That happens, I guess. But this morning when I was drinking my coffee, which I did a little quick thing of, I actually got to try new coffees today. Oh, I left the mug outside. Well, I'll insert a clip of the mug. I finally made an order at Bones Coffee because I've been kind of obsessed with their coffees lately and I've never actually placed an order myself. So I just got like a sample pack that one of you guys were telling me about and I got five flavors which today I tried the Irish cream and then the high voltage, which I'm pretty sure this is their espresso. Guys, I was jittery. I was jittery. It was amazing actually. Coffee doesn't really affect me that much. I normally am more of like a drinker for the flavor instead of like for the energy. Energy wise, nothing happens. But that one, I actually felt like a little like, I don't know if it was energetic, but I was like, ooh, I feel fluttery. And then I also got from Dust Till Donuts, which this is actually, I got the mug that matches it. It looks beautiful i'm hands down gonna order another one they are so cool this is that mug see it has the same little sign as the coffee handcrafted and super cute like you can see the whirls inside it's just so neat isn't that neat yes and it's glazed jelly donut flavored coffee their flavorings are amazing they actually do pull through in the coffee which is always surprising and then I got a Cinnabon and a Salty Siren, which is like a sea salt and caramel mocha. I love how their coffee bags look too. And then while I was on their website, I just kind of had to get some merch. So I got a beanie. Oh wait, this is kind of a vibe. It doesn't go with the skirt I'm wearing, not at all. But wow, look, it just has their little logo. This is so cute. And yes, I did 100% buy this stuff myself. This is not sponsored, but like, I guess if they wanted to sponsor me and send me stuff, I wouldn't object. I feel like no one would really object to free good stuff, you know? I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there. Minimalists. I am not a minimalist. I tend to be like, the opposite. And now for the last thing, the actual books that I've been ordering. I think there's like two or three here because I've already opened another box and I posted actually like a mini like teaser on my Instagram story. So I'm gonna start doing that more I think. So follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube, so Brittany the Bibliophile, if you want to see kind of like more exclusive stuff on there. I've been trying my best to post more on Instagram and maybe like you guys expecting it will push me to post more, but we have another box. <gasps> oh, this is what I hoped it would be. Guys! This was the only reason I was placing an Amazon order, which I know Amazon's not the greatest, but so inexpensive. I'm placing it just for this book and I ended up getting so many more. So I'm gonna probably have to do a haul soon. I got Tomi finally in the mail, which is the book that was actually on my TBR for this month. And I was hoping to read a little bit in this vlog. Just realized I still haven't given you guys like reading plans for this vlog. It's probably for the best since it's very late. Oh, she's a little crinkled. 
Oh, you can kind of tell. I mean, can you see that? Is this just me being a very dramatic, pristine book owner? Yes, 100%. That's exactly that. I'm still kind of sad about it, but it's fine. I'll be okay. I'm trying to be more chill. I have my chill beanie on. Let's, let's call it that. And then another box. I don't know how this video turned into a haul of like random things I've been buying. As we can tell, I've apparently been falling victim to retail therapy. Not much to say about that, except for that I've been working a lot. And whenever I work a lot, I'm like, you deserve, you deserve anything you want, queen. Don't follow my example. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've wanted this book for years, like literal years. And I've always stopped myself from getting it because it's literally never on sale, just be, or like Amazon sale, because I believe that she goes through like an indie publishing company, if not self-published. I'm really not sure. I just know that it's not a big one. Years ago, I was like, oh, over $20. That's kind of expensive. I'm just like, I'm not ready to buy it yet. And then when I was ready to buy it, it was out of stock. Like the hardcover was out of stock. And whenever I'd return, it was out of stock. And I got really, really anxious. And a couple of months ago, it finally came back in stock from when I noticed. And I was like, oh, I'm still not ready to spend that much money on it. But you know, it's finally time just because like, I've been wanting to read this forever and I've been hyping it up. I'm sorry. It's Jade City by Fonda Lee. I have followed her on Twitter for like two years now. And I've just been dying to read the book like i've been dying but she's just a little bit pricey but that's okay books are pricey that's something that i have to come to terms with in my head because books are pricey that's that's fine it's fine it's fine it's i mean like it's not fine i wish they were less expensive but like i'm glad that the authors make some money Ooh, wait this looks like it'll be kind of cool looking naked <gasps> oh she's just so simple oh i like that i know like it's nothing really but like the feeling is nice and like it has like a nice texture look to it i don't know if you can tell i honestly can't really remember what it's about i just know it's a fantasy like an asian inspired adult fantasy family is duty magic is power honor is everything Ooh, jade can enhance magical abilities either way i'm really excited that i finally got this wow we got a cute little haul going on here huh we have one two three four five and not a single technical YA in sight. Wild. Not that there's anything wrong with YA, but I've just been noticing that like my reading tastes have really been all over the place and I'm kind of into it. I'm so into this actually. Okay, so now that I'm done showing you my bad spending habits. Oh, do you like my outfit? with the beanie. My sweatshirt, this is actually a gift that was given to me by Mika, my best friend. She's amazing. I talk about her in like probably every single video. So if you haven't subscribed to her yet, I mean, I get it. You don't have to subscribe to people I tell you to subscribe to, but 100% check her out. She is amazing. But she actually got me this sweatshirt for my birthday. And yes, it does say Witchling, which if you've read Queen of Shadows, you know what's up. This video, <laughs> It's not exactly what I wanted it to be because obviously I was hoping to actually do like a full-on follow me around today vlog and not just like a short let's go to Barnes & Noble also look at the disaster that is my my life at Target and makeup this video is strange but I like it in all honesty so mondays i always have a hard time like getting anything done just because it's the first day off from like my back-to-back -back schedules during the weekends and i'm always so exhausted like so exhausted after working and because of that i tend to sleep in on mondays and like it'll go one of two ways because either i'm gonna be so upset with myself when i wake up at 3 30 p.m like i did today and just like be mad and not get anything done because i'm upset or like just be really hard on myself for sleeping or it'll go like the way that it went today where instead i kind of was like you know what obviously my body needed a break obviously i can give myself this and be okay with it and just move on which is a way healthier mindset. I tend to be a lazy perfectionist is how I like to call it. The Virgo and the Pisces in my chart, they're just, they're at war with each other, dude. <laughs> I know that's like astrology and like, I don't know. I should do like a video kind of on recommending books based off of your zodiac sign. Oh my God, I could do that with Mika. Me and her, we love talking about astrology. I love astrology and I really do feel like some of the things are just too coincidental like it i don't know i don't know i don't know what i believe in ever back to what i was saying i'm a lazy perfectionist so everything i do is like in my opinion never good enough and i'm always beating myself up about it and then waiting until last minute to do things because who knows why i mean maybe it's the adhd maybe it's the pisces it could be both 
I, I was just doubly screwed upon birth. I don't know if I've ever really talked about having ADHD on my channel. I can get really really hard on myself about things and just like not enjoy the moment because like it doesn't help to be mad at myself at the end of the day when I wake up at 3 30 at all. It never helps. It's just more stress. And so today I should have probably gotten a little bit more mad at myself because I wanted this video to be super super cool. I mean I was really excited about the fact that I was doing a giveaway for you guys. I was really excited to get a lot of stuff done today and instead I didn't get much done because even once we got back from Target I ended up hanging out some with my boyfriend which is not something I end up doing often because I guilt myself about it. I always guilt myself when I'm having like a relaxed time. I'm like, oh, that's not a good thing, Brittany. You should really be upset with yourself. I haven't gotten as much reading done today because of that. So my original reading plans for today were like, I want to finish this, this, and that. Like, it's going to be amazing. I didn't tell you guys that because I was busy putting on my makeup really fast so we could go to Barnes & Noble. They were originally that I wanted to like read a volume of Monstrous. I wanted to read all of Tomi, which looking at Tomi now, it is the biggest of the bind ups that Junji Ito has of like those three bind ups. And I also wanted to like read a book physically, whether it was like Secret Life of Addie LaRue, Horrid, or uh, Deadly Education. Though I knew I needed an audiobook because I just finished an audiobook that I've been reading. I, I guess now we're in the TBR part where I finally tell you at the end of my video kind of what I wanted to read, what I want to read. The First Sister, it's giving me very strong like Red Rising vibes. So I think that if you liked Red Rising as a space opera kind of situation, you're gonna like The First Sister. It so far is really interesting as a world. Like it's people from Earth had to like explore other planets because they destroyed Earth. But there's also like this plot line of the sisters which I think are kind of like handmade tale-esque that they're like sworn into the service and they kind of like have to be there for the soldiers so I still haven't gotten to exactly what they do but it seems like it's kind of like the handmaid's tale even though I haven't watched or read handmaid's tale I'm just going off of what I've heard. I kind of wanted to read Tomi today again I might still start that but I think that first I actually want to read reread the first volume of Monstrous. Maybe, just maybe, when I'm getting to bed, I want to start. Oh, I'm still kind of in the mood for Obsidia, which, guys, I still haven't started. I don't, I don't know why. It's sitting right next to my bed, though, so I might start that. I really kind of wanted to do Secret Life, but I don't know. I don't know. It's the end of the night. I don't know why I'm giving you the TBR for the day I was supposed to have. It's not happening, probably. <laughs> right now, I actually wanted to fill out my journals for the day, both my journals, so my life journal, which I don't actually record or show you guys normally, and I wanted to fill out my book journal, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do some editing because there's a video that I was supposed to edit this morning and get up today, and I slept. Yeah, then we'll kind of like maybe do some reading and wrap this up. Let's fill out my journal. If you guys haven't been able to see this whole time, it's 1.46 a.m. And that's on a bad sleep schedule, but I wanted to read The First Sister or listen to more of that while I journaled, but I actually had started a Trin Lavelle video. She like does movie commentary videos. They're so funny. I actually started watching her when I watched Midsummer for the first time because I wanted to know if anyone else had thought that was like as messed up as I thought it was. And then I ran across her video and it's, it's like love at first sight. She's amazing. So. so I'm gonna finish actually that video while I do my journaling. It's her new one, The Chronicles of Narnia. Love it.
I'm getting so sleepy right now. So I think that what I'm gonna do is take my makeup off, make a cup of tea, and I think that what I wanna do is read like 30 pages maybe of Monstrous One, Tomy, and either Obsidio or Secret Life. That's a hard one, honestly. Obsidio, so yeah. So my actual camera battery died, so I'm on my phone, which is uh, the reason for the quality, but I did it. But yeah, so I read like 44 pages of Monstrous. I'm really liking the reread because I feel like there's a lot more that I'm catching in it, so already enjoying that aspect. And it's moving a lot faster than I remember when I first read it. And I read a little over 30 pages in Tomy. I really like it. I mean, I couldn't, I almost didn't want to put this down at all to start up Monstrous, but like, it's really cool. Like, it starts off with kind of like Tomy's origin story, since it's about a girl who drives men, she's so beautiful, she drives men insane, insane enough to kill her, but like, she doesn't stay dead. So like, her origin story was wild. And I still feel like there's just a lot more to learn, so really glad I picked this up. And... I read a little over 30 pages of Obsidio and I'm so glad I finally picked it up because I was right. Reading these books physically, for me at least, hits differently because the audiobooks are incredible but I definitely absorb the material better physically because there's just like so many names <laughs> and so many like science-y, space-y terms that I don't normally understand if I just listen, like I need to read it to process. So yeah. I'm glad I picked these up physically, even though it was only like 30 pages each, because I feel like I'm going to want to keep reading now. I mean, I already do. So that's it for this vlog, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring. Check them out if you want to. I'll leave everything down below. Don't forget to go to the Google form if you want to enter my giveaway to win six months of Book of the Month's membership for free. I'm going to actually listen to a little bit of first sister i think while playing a little bit of animal crossing yeah cha cha oh well, now you want to snuggle you're showing the world your butthole he's had ample opportunity to snuggle and now he wants to do it when we're about to get up if that is not a cat i don't know what is yeah all right i'm gonna play animal crossing and unwind although i'm already pretty tired so good night don't try and jump up there no 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 there's nothing up there you're gonna fall in and you're gonna get hurt <sighs> Okay, it's time to go. Mm -hmm.